Hello, welcome back to the North Eastern. And uh, this is more or less as how we left it last week. So, what we've got to do now is clean up the tracks and uh, make sure there's no ballast trapped in any of the uh, mechanisms for the uh, point motors and points. And then paint the tracks and start putting everything back. Got a little bit of um, foliage to add there, some bushes and greenery maybe. Uh, maybe a bit more ballast there. And um, generally tidying it up. So, let's make a start. Okay, I've uh, I've gone round the, all the track that was ballasted uh, from last weekend, and uh, basically all I do is get a screwdriver and just use the corner of the screwdriver, just run it on the inside, just to make sure I get rid of any ballast that may be sticking to the edges of the track. make sure it's nothing that's going to foul on any of the wheels um, after the painting has been done as well because next job is to hoover it all up get all the loose bits off and then um, paint the rails and then once the rails has been painted then we weather the sleepers and the tracks itself which gives it a darker tone like I did over at um, Newhassel Junction a few months back so that's the next job hoover up get rid of all these loose bits of ballast off the track it's all over the place and then we'll see you when I paint the tracks. Okay I've removed the debris from the track and cleaned up the rails ready for painting and um, I've made a start at the top end here near the bridge and the paint I'm using is this brushed wash from Hombro. Uh, all I do is mix it up with a tiny bit of black and you get this dirty rail look well the only reason I brush it on is to put it where it's needed rather than spraying it all over the place hence why I use a brush and once that's done once all the tracks done then it's the the, the dirty wash over the top or the light grey wash I've, I've mixed up Right, so I'll carry on painting the track and then weather it with a dirty wash and then clean the rails up and we're almost ready for do some running once the painting that dries. Right, so I'll catch you then. Okay, as you can see now, I have now painted the track and weathered the track. Um, it's still wet and i uh, just got to let it dry and then we can move on. Um, if you've seen the previous videos of, um, of mine of finishing the track and you'll see how I've done it. Just mix in light grey acrylics to get the effect. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let it dry and eventually start putting all the buildings in that back because I still have to clean the track with the old um, rubbers to get the paint off the top of the rails. So I'll do that and then we'll see what happens from there. Hopefully, time that time dock could be back to normal. 
Okay, let's have another look at Town Dock. I have now put all the buildings back. I have done a little bit of foliage work uh, between the bridge and the signal box. I have built a retaining wall which runs behind the bicycle shed there all the way to the footbridge. So let's finish that off. And um, Time Dog is looking a lot better now with all the ballasting done. There's a outside gents on platform one now. And there's a bit more foliage at this end. Um, I'm still working on the bridges here, putting some um, steel um, valancing in, which will be painted up black. I've already done the far one at the back there, and I'll be doing that one there and this one here. Um, I'm toying with the idea of putting in here on the right um, a redundant siding which I think will look good to help finish off this end of the station so I think now we can have some running the tracks have been cleaned and um, so the next thing is to get some trains running through Town Dock. It's been at least oh, two weeks since we've had anything come through here. So let's have a look, see, shall we? <laughs> 